I have a wonderful method, my, my dear students, I have a wonderful method for the combination of lenses. Where students will try to leave this question because they feel very difficult. But I have a solution for that. See, there are two lenses which are made up of glass having refractive index 3 by 2. There is one liquid in between the two lenses that is a water which is having a refractive index 4 by 3. That's it. And you know this is a lens makers formula. I will modify this formula first of all. This lens makers formula let me modify here. So 1 by f is equal to for a for example this is mu minus 1. You know radius of curvatures are same for a convex lens. I can write it as 1 by r. And for this side radius of curvature is left side so plus 1 by r again. So 1 by f is equal to mu minus 1. This is 2 by r. So f is equal to this reciprocal if you make r into r divided by 2 into mu minus 1. This is going to be the focal length formula for, k, for a case of a convex lens. And if it is a concave lens having same radius of curvature, just you will get a negative sign that's it. Okay. That's just you get a negative sign. Okay. Now you are see. Here if you observe, you are going to consider a convex lens having refractive index 3 by 2. You just substitute here. What will get let us see. f is equal to r by 2 into mu minus 1. That means 3 by 2 minus 1, that is f is going to be r by 2 into 1 by 2, you are getting 2 to get cancelled. So f equal to r. Always remember one thing, whenever there is a convex lens which is made up of glass, then focal length and radius of curvatures will be same. Focal length and radius of curvatures will be same. This point if you remember, then you will get an idea that both the lenses are having same focal lengths and radius of curvatures. That means this is also having f focal length, this is also having f focal length. And radius of curvature also same here. Then let me discuss about what is the middle lens whose refractive index is 4 by 3 and it is a concave lens, you know shape is concave lens. The same formula you will apply but negative sign will come here, that's it, that you have to remember now. So therefore focal length of the middle lens you will take minus r by 2 into 4 by 3 minus 1 because it is a liquid lens having refractive index 4 by 3. Therefore you will get minus r by 2 into 1 by 3. Therefore, fo focal length for water is how much? 3r by 2, minus 3r by 2. So for this middle lens, focal length is going to become minus 3r by 2 for water. But I told you that the radius of curvatures for these three lenses are same. Either it is a concave lens or convex lens, radius of curvatures is same. And when radius of curvatures are same, that means the focal length is also same. So instead of r, I can write f for the case of middle lens also. That means focal length of a water lens is how much? 3f by 2. Okay. So now I know that this is having focal length f, this is having focal length f, <coughs> and the middle one is having focal length 3f by 2. That's it. What are you going to do now? You will use the resultant focal length formula here. You will use the resultant focal length formula here in all these cases. Now you just here. You can write the net focal length is going to be 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 plus 1 by f3. That's it. So 1 by f net is nothing but these two lenses are having same focal lengths. So f1 and f3 are same. You can write them as 2 by f. And this is the concave lens having negative focal length. How much it is? 3f by 2 minus 3f by 2. Then what will get? So minus 3f by 2 means 3f by 2. You have read reciprocal here. That's it. Now your answer is ready. So here 1 by f net is going to become how much here? 3f is an LCM. So 3 to 6 minus 2. That's it. So how much are you getting? f net is going to become reciprocal if you make it. You're getting 3f by 4 is going to be your answer. That's it. This is my simple shortcut and easy method. Thank you very much. My dear students have got a wonderful method to solve the problem in which there are two plano convex lenses and in middle there is a liquid. In between the two lenses, whose refractive index is 1.7? These are made up of glass, whose refractive index is 1.5. What I'm going to do a little bit a different style, I'm going to solve this problem. I'll take these two plano convex lenses and club them to form a single convex lens here. Now that's it. This is the formula. You all know that this focal length is equal to r by 2 mu minus 1. If it is the convex lens, if it is the convex lens, then you write Convex means you can just take it as 1 here. That is R is given as 20. So 20 by 2 into 3 by 2 minus 1 because 1.5 is nothing but 3 by 2. Therefore F1 is equal to 20. For a convex lens you are getting 20 centimeters at the focal length. And in the middle there is a concave lens whose refractive index is 1.7. The same formula you will use here also. But you will take it as negative. Minus R. Or is this minus R is nothing but minus 20 by 2 into 1.7 minus 1. Okay. Oh, we're getting how much here? This is going to be minus how much? This is going to be because I am converting this into minus 100 by 7 here. That's it. 
So what I'm going to get now, F1 is 20 and F2 is going to be minus 100 by 7. The same resultant formula I'm applying here, 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2. So 1 by F net is going to be, 1 by F1 is how much here? It is going to be 1 by 20 and minus is going to be 100 by 7, that's it. So 1 by F net is equal to 100. So 5 times minus 7 times 1 by F net is going to be minus 2 by 100. Therefore, F net is going to be 2 1s, 2 50s. That is minus 50 centimeters is going to be your answer, that's it. Here, how I'm getting this one, you know, this is 2 1s, 2 10s. So 10, 1.7 minus 1 is 0 0.7. So I'm multiplying numerator and denominator with, with 10. Then we're getting 100 by 7, that's it. So like this, I'm going to solve the problem in a super simple way. Thank you very much. Want to learn unique short tricks which are not at all present in internet? I am assuring that one. So this is a case where there are two plano convex lenses made up of glass. There is a lens which is made up of liquid in between. This is a liquid here. So in such type of cases, you know the lengthy methods for finding the resultant focal length, which is very tough and kind, time consuming. Now I've got a simple shortcut formula that is net focal length for this type of cases is R by 3 minus 2 mu L. Mu of a liquid, that's it. So therefore, F net is going to be R is 20. 20 divided by 3 minus 2 into 1.7 which is nothing but 20 divided by 3 minus 3.4 which is minus 20 divided by 0 0.4 which is minus 50 centimeters so first option is going to be your answer this is a previous year question i have got such a super short tricks where you will not get in youtube this is my own creation you just see here now so whenever you get these type of problems like there are two convex lenses having refractive index 3 by 2 and in between there is a liquid having refractive index 4 by 3 then you know you have to solve the problem by using a very complex case but I got a simple single shortcut method here so F net is equal to F by 4 minus 2 mu, mu L is mu, mu of a liquid here so therefore F net is nothing but F by 4 minus 2 into mu of a liquid is nothing but 4 by 3 here. Therefore, F net is equal to F divided by, how much you are getting now? Uh, you will be getting 3 by 4 here. That is nothing but 3F by 4 is going to be your answer. That's it. So simple. My dear students, this is a case of a telescope in which the length of a telescope means F naught plus Fe is given as 150 centimeters. It is given as 150 centimeters and magnification is given as 5 here. That means F0 by Fe is 5. So 150 and 5 means you can just directly select here by seeing the options. What is that? Let us see here now. F0 plus Fe is 150 and F0 is nothing but 5 times of Fe. So substitute this F0 in terms of Fe. So F0 means 5 Fe plus Fe is equal to 150. That means 6 Fe is equal to 150. Fe is equal to 150 by 6. So 6 2 12, 6 5 30. So 25. Fe is 25 means F0 is 125. So 125 plus 25 is equal to 150. And 125 divided by 25 is going to be 5. That's it. So this is going to be our correct option. That is F not Fe is 25, F not is 125. That is first option. That's it.